Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest where we are here in our Ultra Iron Wolf run with Vixie and Todd and the Midnight Shadow Pack. The pups do not have their names just yet, however we will be naming them in the next episode. So if you want the chance to contribute names and have a chance to have them used, possibly, I can't make any guarantees, but I will be picking from the pool of submitted names for these pups uh, and we'll be doing that in the next episode. So this is going to be your last chance to do that. Now I just want to get the affinity up a little bit because we don't really have the food. It looks like Todd fed- there's Todd. <laughs> he fed them a little bit, but uh-oh. Alright, we're gonna have our work cut out for us, aren't we? So let's just play with these guys a bit more, get the affinity all the way up. Todd is leaving, it seems. Yeah, there he goes. Alright, um, well, I, I guess then we will, um... We'll send the pups in the den here in just a second. I am a little bit apprehensive of being left alone with them. I mean, I, I it's sure, surely it's it's fine, right? But there's there are a lot of pups, and they are quite a chaotic bunch. I think we'll be okay though. Let's just send them back in the den here in a second. All right, I don't know if the affinity is going up too much more, so we're we're gonna send it back in the in the den before stranger wolves show up. That was my concern because, as you can see, there is a trail leading directly into our territory that seems to come from the lucky pack. Is this just the the is it the bear that's over here, or not the bear, the dinosaur? Okay, that's all that's over here. <laughs> this is still so cute. Okay. All right, now that that little bit of anxiety is done, uh, welcome back up properly. Let's head down this way. It looks like Todd is actually gonna help with the marking as well. In fact, you know what? Maybe we should go the other way then. Maybe we should actually go up here and hunt because I do smell an elk herd. I think we're gonna do that. Let's, let's see if we can find the lead herd. See if we can get some food here. If Todd is busy marking the territory, then I don't want to interrupt him, but we can actually maybe mark some of the territory that's over here, and if we work together, we should be good. Now, this is Ultra Iron Wolf, so this might be a challenging hunt. We have to be kind of careful. We gotta wait for one of them to turn around after we get them scared into motion in the first place. Man, they're really not intimidated by Vixie. Look, I know I'm a little bit small. I know I'm not that menacing. Yeah, there you go. You better run. Are those separate herds? No. I know I don't look all that menacing, but trust me, my bite is so much worse than my bark. All right, where, who's gonna, actually this one's gonna turn. All right, cool, glad, thank you, thank you for volunteering. I'm glad you jumped in like that. Let's see if we can catch up. And I forgot how bad the stamina is. No! All right, we gotta let uh, Vixie get her energy back. Oh dear. Yeah, that's, this is, this is a, yeah. Okay, I forgot what it's, uh, what it's like to not have stamina. Oh boy. We might actually have to run these guys for a while and try to wear them out. I just don't want to lose sight of the one that we know is weakened. Otherwise, I would slow down a lot more and regain my own strength. But I'm worried we're gonna f lose which one is, uh, is weakened here. Oh, she's actually stopped. Perfect. All right, no, 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 no. Let's go ahead and get a bite here. Yes, you are indeed very weak. All right, we just want to be careful. Whoa, okay, she's going to trample damage us for not cautious. But she is lagging behind. That's a little bit more of a manageable pace. There we go. We really have to keep an eye on that stamina because uh, if Vixie runs out, it's not going to bode well for her. Uh, she's going to get kicked, and because we're hunting alone, that's going to be a lot more of a problem than it would be if Todd was here. Oh, okay, that's not what I like to see. All right, can we get a good... Nope. Ouch! Oh no, that's exactly what I was hoping would not happen. I think we still have the ability to bring her down, but now we're hurt as well. Oh, Vixie, I hope that this is the only problem you have to worry about today. All right, let's let her go down a bit. We have to regain our stamina. Please don't try to stand up. Oh, she's trying to... Ah! No, she's so close and we've taken such heavy hits already. Oh, and there's Mule Deer. One of these days, I'm going to lose an Iron Wolf to just random Mule Deer trample damage, and it's going to be the worst. But hopefully today is not that day. All right, there we go. Can we get just a few more bites? I'm not going to worry about biting somewhere else unless I absolutely have to. Please just go down. I can bite the shoulder. Oh, I'm out of stamina. 
Okay, one more bite should do it. There we go. All right. That was needlessly stressful. I hope Todd is able to find us. Oh yeah, we did have a carcass. I always get so skeptical of the carcasses though when we leave them for a longer period of time because I feel like oftentimes there's something eating them. That was half our health. We made it. I mean, of, of course we made it. I mean, it's not like we didn't know how to hunt elk, but uh, you know, it could have been could have been worse. It could have it could have been better, but it could have been worse too. That's just deer in the distance. For a second, I thought there was a wolf there. All right, Todd is marking the territory. However, this territory is decaying. Actually, by how by how much is this decaying? Why does this look like there's stranger wolves in here? If Todd is heading this way, though, maybe we ought to circle the den first. I'm just gonna pee on this post as we go by, too. We're gonna let- we're gonna let Vixie do a little bit of reinforcing, and then we'll see if Todd heads back to the den, or if he ends up reinforcing all of that territory, because hopefully he will. Alright, well, we've made it back to the den. Todd actually hasn't yet. He went up this way. I think he's on his way back. I hope he goes to eat, but we can at least feed the pups for now. If not, he is at 76% hunger, so I suppose it's not the end of the world if he doesn't eat tonight. He's not hurt or anything, but we unfortunately are. We got kicked in the jaw. It's not great. It's really not what I was hoping for, but I'm thankful that hunt went okay. You know, it is... It's challenging for a lone ultra iron wolf to uh, to be able to do a whole hunt by herself, and so Vixie did pretty good. Oh yeah, Todd is definitely coming back. Uh, I don't think he's found any food, unfortunately. Maybe I will wait for him to get back before I take a quick jaunt down to the stream and fill up my own a little bit more. But I do think it's probably going to be best for us to rest the night, nonetheless. Yeah, I think it'll. I think it'll be okay. We do have. I mean, we do have energy. Thought I saw movement that way for a moment. The paranoia is getting to me. <laughs> um, Todd? Todd, where are you going? Well, never mind all that then. Uh, I guess he's not going back. I, I guess he's heading out that way in search of food, maybe? No? Okay, he might be pretty hungry. I'm actually gonna call him back down here, and, uh, because the territory over there is all marked. We made sure of that ourselves. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, you're so cute, too, uh, but please, please go back in the den now. Um, please make sure you stay safe and hidden as we're heading away. We'll make sure Todd comes with us to get some food. Hey, bud. You wanna go find- see the carcass that, uh, that I marked over here? We'll, we'll make sure he gets the chance to eat, because I think that's why he's still out searching. Todd? Sir? Todd is on a mission all of his own, and I have no idea what it could possibly be. I, I mean, I, I guess apart from trying to find food. There we go. Yeah, let me let me show you where that carcass is so you can eat your fill and not have to worry about running all, all across the dang map looking for food. Alright, well, a new day is here. Todd got his food, but the pups are very hungry and the territory is very decayed. Uh-oh. Let's feed these guys with what we've got. Uh, make sure that they get to eat at least just a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's all we can manage. Alright. Uh, Todd, you might need to come with us today. I'm a little bit concerned that there might be stranger wolves up there, judging by how far all of these border hexes have gone. Today is not going to be such a straightforward day, methinks. And I can't tell. The reflections in the water keeps getting to me. It looks like there could... No, that's not good. Oh, that is not good. I do not even see where it is. Pups, please go back in the den. Please go back in the den. Uh, most of them are obeying, actually. No, never mind. All right, 3F. I'm going to grab 3F. We're going to stay by 2F. I think this will be fine. I think this will be fine. If we can just keep them together. Please go back in the den, 2F. It'd be really good if you do that. Oh, good. Okay. Did it just flap down right behind us? No, 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 no. Please go back in the den. Please go back in the den. 3F. 3F. Now is not the time. Please let me pick up the pup, please. Okay. 
That was a little bit dramatic. Todd was surprisingly chill through all of that. Yes, I agree. It might be good if we went and uh, did some hunting and some territory marking. I am so thankful that most of them actually listened to us that time. That is not common in given this bunch of pups. I am glad that they they actually did. They they're usually so bold. It seems that perhaps Vixie's stories of ill, I bet she does tell them- Oh goodness, this river's fast. I bet she does tell them, like, the, the wolf equivalent of the boogeyman stories. <laughs> oh, if you wander too far from home, an eagle will get you. I bet she, uh, has some tales of warning mixed in with her tales of adventure. And perhaps in this case, her stories of perilous eagle attacks have not fallen on deaf ears. And if that's the case, I am very thankful for it, because if these guys are actually going to listen to us a little bit better during the eagle attacks, that's going to be for the best. But let's go make sure that all of this territory is alright. I can't smell too much from this direction, so I can't really tell. Oh, I don't think this is going to be a fight that's worth picking. That's our old carcass, and uh, also the reason that Vixie does not like to rely too heavily on the- oh! But Todd has found another source of food, it would seem. That's good. And we've got this territory marked, so let's keep moving to the next one. Maybe this... I mean, I guess this, uh, this carcass over here has survived for a bit. Maybe we'll have better luck? We'll, we'll see. Oh, this carcass is a little bit less guarded. There's There are dogs here, but uh, no, you can leave. If you think it, that I won't start biting, you're mistaken. There is a there is a fox here, though. Uh, I don't I don't mind your presence so much. Okay, there he goes. I was hoping that he might not freak out too much. I guess this was a spike, though. Do those have more food? I know the bull elk certainly do. Huh. Interesting. I think it does. It seems like we're not eating it quite as quickly. In any case, I doubt it'll be here tomorrow, but it still seems, uh, still seems to have been a helpful thing. Also, we're quite near the, um, the territory that we need to mark. Is this where it is? Yeah, we're just gonna really quick put some scent posts in these and, and make sure that we get those boosted up to 100% so that these are nice and strong. And who is it bordering this Lucky Pack? Of course it's Lucky Pack. It always would be so that they don't get any funny ideas about um, trying to trying to steal from us. I'm just gonna move the scent post too because I think when we were originally claiming oftentimes we don't worry too much about their location so now is when we can kind of start start sorting out uh, a better location for them and making sure that we've got them in a, a more optimal arrangement. Oh there's a weird old RV out here. I'd forgotten this was here but goodness gracious look how dirty the dang thing is. I don't think this has had any humans about it for a very long time. But we've also finished marking the territory in pretty near record time. We've actually got half of our energy left, but uh, there's not a whole lot left. I guess we could go all the way up around there and mark, but I don't think it quite needs it yet. And when you live the life of an Ultra Iron Wolf, there's no sense in spending energy when you don't really need to. So I think we're just going to head back spend some time with the pops, make sure that they are fed and cared for, and then take a much-deserved nap. And hopefully after that eagle in the morning, the rest of our time here at the den will remain fairly uneventful? I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. Oh no. Well, that isn't any good. Which pup is it? It's not told us yet, and it's right at the start of the night, too. Who was it? 2M. Down to 85% over much of the night. Well, I suppose that makes our decision for us. We'll probably have to spend some of the time at the den. And speaking of the den, why don't you guys go back into the den really quickly here? Uh, I see wolves. 5M, please hurry. Please hurry. I don't know who these wolves are. 5M, now is not the time to be eating. Go. Go. 
No, get out of here. You get out. Van Winkle 3M. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Well, at least the pups finally went. I don't have the stamina to catch up to this guy, though. No, no, no. Absolutely not. You stay away. Get out of here. At least he's fairly intimidated by now. And Todd seems to be having a fight all of his own. You can leave. Thank you very much. Get out. Oh, I think your friend may not be so as so intimidated. Oh, perhaps. All right, who is this? 3F. Todd, are you all right? Looks like it. That was a little too close for comfort. I wish the pups would have gone to the den a bit faster. Let's, uh, let's call them back out, I suppose? We want to make sure that we're spending as much time with 2M as possible. I don't know how the sickness is gonna go, and I don't know what the territory is looking like. At least it's not terrible. But I think it's gonna be for the best if we spend some time here with them. Maybe I'll run down to the river. I should have done this before, um, before we, <laughs> before, before, before we brought the pups back in the open, but get a little bit of extra, um, goodness, why are you all the way over here? 2F, what are you doing? And 5M is disappearing as well. You guys, you guys, you can't be doing this right after a wolf attack. And even that wasn't enough. All right. I suppose we'll just have to lurk and see if there's any hairs. Oh yeah, 76 is not quite going to cut it. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh, that is not good. No, no, no. 2F is too far from the den. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh my goodness. Oh no, 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 no. Gosh, Todd, be careful. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's not good. That I, It will not let me bite. Why can't I bite? Why can't I bite? Okay. Okay, 3F, please hurry. Please hurry. Todd, be careful. No, 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 no. Oh, this is not good. Not good. Don't run up behind me and hit me, please. Okay, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. 3F is not back in the den. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Todd, be careful. Okay. All right. Please go back in the den. 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 The bear's leaving. Oh my goodness gracious. That's not great. I just looked up and there was a bear. Todd, are you okay? Oh no. Is he limping? No, I don't think he's limping. Minor injury. Okay. Uh, yeah. He's all right, I think. I suppose we can see on the on the HUD if he has a, a major injury. That's unnerving. I may be a little bit scarred by our last Ultra Iron Wolf run with all the bears, so I certainly hope this doesn't become a pattern. Oh boy, I suppose it was high time something showed up. I'm also getting a little bit concerned about the... Uh, the food here. We might have to go try and do a hunt or try and find some hares or something. Unfortunately. Oh, actually, it looks like that might be what Todd is doing. I suppose we'll give him a chance, see if he manages to find anything to eat. Oh, there's an eagle as well. This is a little bit nerve wracking, but. I don't want to leave just yet. I suppose we'll stay back for now, and I'm sure Vixie can entertain the pups with plenty of stories about her various escapades. I just hope they stay close enough to listen. Yes, I'm looking at 3F, who, despite having gotten yoinked by a bear and is on 83% health, is still wandering away. Todd is still gone, and there's eagles circling around. I think Vixie's getting a little jumpy, and also a little worried about the food, because I don't know, it doesn't look like he's managed to find any. So I think she may venture out on her own. We're probably not going to do a full hunt 
The last one didn't go as well as I was hoping. I mean, again, it could have been a lot worse, but ideally we don't have to take a bunch of uh, injury right now while, while Todd is also injured. So I think we're just going to sniff around, see if we can find some hairs. I don't think there's really too much territory this way that needs marking, but we'll see if we can just find something to eat. That's Vixie's main concern at present. Oh, just like this. Okay, we've done not too badly for ourselves here, although we did spend most of the rest of our energy away from the den. However, we now have enough food, I think, to feed these guys, which is good. That's the important thing. In these challenges, if you do not stay on top of the food, it can spiral so fast. We learned that the hard way with Maple, of course. If you haven't seen that run, oh my goodness, it was a ride. Uh, also, definitely uh, worth definitely worth watching. I mean, I might be a little biased, but my goodness, it remains one of the craziest stories that we have uh, we've ever told on this channel, in my honest opinion. So yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of the knowledge that we're bringing into this run came from our time spent with Maple. It also looks like Todd is finishing up the marking and should be back before too much longer so we'll probably just spend the last bit of the afternoon with these guys now i don't know if todd managed to find food so we'll definitely have to hunt tomorrow but making sure the puppies are fed is the top priority because the adult wolves can go without food reasonably safely for a little while longer, but the puppies really can't. You, you can't go more than a day or so without food before you start getting into some real trouble here. And I am so paranoid um, about, uh, uh, about, about, about the bears now. Okay, please don't scatter to the winds. Oh goodness, 3F is disappearing again. She already almost got yoinked by a bear. That's a bald eagle. Okay. Scared me to see that flying over the den. I'm not actually going to eat that hair because I think these guys will have enough. If not, we can regurgitate a little bit more. But we want to uh, we want to have some food left for Todd if we can. I don't know if he'll be able to eat that. He's got 70%, so probably. And it looks like he is on his way back. So I think we're going to go ahead. Oh, you still need some food. Yeah, let's make sure that all these guys get enough. How are they all? They're all per pretty close, right? Yes. We're doing pretty good. Alright. With that, though, I think this episode is drawing to its close. I keep thinking I'm almost hearing the Predator music, but it's just the really low den music. But yeah, goodness, a lot has happened. We've already been flung in uh, into the deep end. Not so much on the territory marking expeditions, but uh, hanging around the den, definitely we've already found some trouble with eagles, bears, and stranger wolves all coming after our puppies. Oh boy, Vixie and Todd are sure gonna have their work cut out for them because there is... A lot at stake here. Oh, do we... We have 1%. Wait, 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 wait. No, 2M also keeps standing just out of reach. Yep, there we go. Just out of reach as well. And so I keep looking up and realizing that I'm not actually close enough to him because he keeps just scooching a little ways away. So I hope that does not work against us. I've been catching it as fast as I can, but goodness gracious, he keeps doing this. And of course, there is Todd on his way back. With that, I think the Midnight Shadow Pack is going to settle down for the night. So next episode, we will be naming the pups. Make sure to send in your names uh, if you have not done so already, because this is going to be your last chance for that, pretty much, uh, before we actually assign those names for the next episode. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and leave this off here for today, because it is getting to be about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay over and out.